think something to keep in mind is that culture is very infectious. Whatever the culture is, it's going to spread. Whatever's going on is just going to keep on growing. That's what a, that's what a culture is, especially from the just the sheer biological meaning of the term culture. And so a lot of people think that a culture change is a big, huge three to five year initiative. And yes, there are certain things that will take that long to change, but culture at its core is really just an experience that you're having in that moment. Robert Richman is a culture strategist, keynote speaker, and the author of The Culture Blueprint. He was a manager at Zappos.com and the co-creator of Zappos Insights. Robert is a sought after keynote speaker at conferences around the world and has been hired to teach culture in person at companies like Google headquarters in the USA and Europe, Toyota, and Eli Lilly. His new book, The Culture Blueprint, is a systematic guide to how a workplace can help people grow, inspire amazing service, and ultimately drive revenue through amazing culture. Because that's all the culture is, is relationships. So taking the time to ask certain questions that are in the book, The Culture Blueprint, a whole guide to asking questions such as, what makes for a great boss? How will I know that you're doing well? How do I know that you're okay to give me feedback or disagree with me? And these whole sets of questions for co-designing a relationship. And if you take that time to do it in advance, it will really impress anybody coming into the company because you're treating them like a human being that you're having a relationship with rather than a subordinate that you give demands to and just tell them what to do. I need my team to be more excited. I need them to have all this energy. What do we know about business? It's all relationships, right? And that's not just on the outside, that's on the inside too. These are relationships, they take time to build and moments to destroy. What a hacker does is look for the vulnerable point within the system, that point where if a small change is made, it can have a huge impact on the rest of the culture. The culture ultimately trumps everything because it's creating the way of being within the company. So you can say you want to do this or that with the strategy, but if the culture is not in alignment, then it'll never happen. So this is what happens when you create a culture of hackers. You get people who think for themselves. Because the thing is, if you use a best practice, what does that make you as an identity? A best practice user. But the difference between 20 million a year and completely struggling is the difference between distraction and focus. Distraction is self-medication for something that we do not want to feel. The experience trumps everything because if you think of any time you went to a seminar or college or a class, there's very little information you really remember from it, but you remember how you felt during it. You remember how you felt and what you did after it. A hacker doesn't look for a best practice. A hacker looks for an opening in the system that can be played with, that can be experimented with. Because here's how belief works. You believe something and then it either works or it doesn't. So if you want something at your company, whatever it is, passion, excitement, energy, anything, if you're not bringing it, then you're using the company as medicine for why your life isn't working. It's that real. Anything you want, you have to give and will become more of it. If your commitment is to continue to be the best coaches in the world, then we're just getting started. <laughs> Thank you.